Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Abhi Lash and I'm a Twitter next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the charts of Euro USD and GBP USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. And my dear friends, as we all know that after NFP, there have been pressure on the chart of US dollar index because of which uh, GBP USD, Euro USD and others are going up. And we can see the same market sentiment is continuing as expected. And right now, dollar index is showing signs of recovery. But do not consider this as a complete trend reversal or something like that. Because no market in the world goes up in a straight line or goes down in a straight line. Market always move in a zigzag pattern. So this is just a retracement. Overall, the market sentiment is still the same. So the pressure will remain on the chart of dxy if you look at a market sentiment you can see dollar studies as traders mal economic outlook dollar index studied around 102.8 on tuesday after losing as much as 2.1 percent over the previous two sessions as investors continue to assess the likelihood of a u.s recession this is the ongoing market sentiment and moreover you need to stay in touch with the news as well. You must be knowing that there is a tension going on on Middle East. Any news will have a deep impact on TXY again. Already we have discussed on the video of gold that things are crazy. If you trade on gold or if you have watched the chart of gold, then probably you were surprised too. So stay in touch with the news. Any news will have a direct impact on US dollar as well as on gold. And if um, no news comes out then this present market sentiment will continue right now dxy is standing around 102.84 during the day you can expect 103.50 to be the next support here and you can also expect some resistance sorry not support you can expect some resistance around 103.50 round number as well as you can also expect some resistance around 103.20 these are the two levels where you can look for some resistance why we are discussing about resistance on dxy because if market starts falling my dear friend from this area then obviously we will see upside on euro usd or gbp usd we need to plan our trades accordingly okay so you can see around 103.20 we have fibo 38.2 percent retracement level and this is the level from market started falling why 103.50 because of fibo 50 percent retracement level and it's a round number so these are the two levels where we can expect next resistance on the chart of dxy and if market fails to go up because of the ongoing weakness then we can expect the market to go down in that case if gb uh, sorry not gp you see if dxy breaks 102.15 the downside will continue where is the next support the next support is at 100.50 far away okay let's wait and watch now let's uh, discuss about euro dollar okay on saturday we discuss about the bullish flag remember the bull flag on euro university the bull flag did a fine job i uh, personally okay out of all the chart patterns common ones and the complicated ones i prefer to trade on the flag pattern because i prefer to follow the trend of the market and it's a trend continuation pattern if you have been watching my videos then you must have observed that i never uh, or i avoid talking about or trading around um, head and shoulder double top double bottom okay those are not my things i i love to follow the trend of the market so i love to flag anyways the flag pattern did pretty well and right now we can see that euro usd okay euro usd after facing some resistance around 1.1 triple zero standing at 1.0950 this is the current market price what cmp where is the resistance 1.1 triple zero round number okay now see things are a little complicated so please listen to me carefully if we go to the daily chart of euro usd we can see a pure sideways market choppy market and right now we can see the market is almost standing at resistance and moreover we can also see a divergence so things are a little bit difficult to understand why because fundamentally dxy is weak technically we can see euro usd has higher chances of going down so 
let's see who wins whether fundamentals win the battle or technicals win the battle usually technicals lose but time will tell so i'll just say that already we have uh, received enough move from euro qbsd so you need to be a little bit careful right now if you have a buy on euro qbsd right now you can be on the buy position because of the ongoing weakness on the dxy so if you are planning to look for a new buy then you can buy around here as well personally i have no open position on euro qbsd Okay, and I'm not planning also to buy Euro USD because I can see that Euro USD is standing at the support for a long time. And standing at support not going up, what does it mean? It means the buyers doesn't have the strength. Maybe it is waiting for a fall on the DX vector. Okay. But if you have a whole uh, support, not support, if you have an open position, if you have a buy on Euro USD hold, if you're looking for a fresh buy, you can buy here as well. Okay, you can buy here as well. If market starts falling, exit immediately. But otherwise, you can also look for buy around 1.0918 and 1.0890. These are the two levels on the chart of Euro USD where you can look for a buy if market shows retracement. Here we have FIBO 38.2% retracement level. This one around 1.0918 and around 1.0890 we have FIBO 50 plus previous support around this area. So if Euro USD comes for retracement, these are the two levels we can look for support. Otherwise, be on the buy. If you have taken a buy here, then also you can be on the buy right now. No uh, selling okay opportunities because we may have a divergence market may be standing on the chart of uh, so market may be standing on resistance but we cannot deny the fact that dollar index is weak as of now let's talk about gbp us the british pound us dollar okay to understand the chart of gbp us the for us is a better time frame on the chart of euro euro dollar um okay we discuss about levels on the hourly but here we can see for us time frame is giving us a clear picture so uh, we can clearly see GBP USD is going down. Remember when we were discussing about Euro USD, GBP uh, USD uh, last week? Okay, I told you guys that if you want to be on a buy, you should consider Euro USD instead of GBP USD because Euro USD was confusing. Okay, uh, Euro USD was choppy, but GBP USD was in downtrend. And when when dollar index started falling, Euro USD showed better move. Okay, so right now we can see that GBP USD is still still continuing the downside, and as a result, you should avoid uh, GBP USD for a buy right now. Okay, during the day, if GBP USD surprises us with an upside, we can look for a sell around one point two eight seven six. Here we can see previous resistance, previous support also becoming resistance. FIBO fifty percent retracement level plus you can see the 50 moving average sorry 100 moving average also present if we combine all the factors in this market situation where the sellers are having an upper hand obviously it will find some resistance around 1.276 if market shows price ejection from above we can tuck, tuck, hit the sell button okay and on the other hand if market fails to go up because already market is weak so if market fails to go up we can look for a sell below 1.2700 okay we can look for a sell below the previous low here if you see a heavy fall on gbp usd where is the next support on gbp usd the next support on the chart of gbp usd is around 1.2600 and if dollar index continues the downside then try to avoid buy on gbp usd it doesn't matter whether you love gbp you love gbp so much but you need to think about your money as well because because in comparison okay we can see better moves on euro usd okay. uh so this is all about gp usd and euro usd be careful market has been very unstable especially if you're a gold trader okay this is not a video of gold but still i'm talking about it that's all from my side my dear friends thank you so much bye bye take care